G'day guys, Scott Wagstaff, General Manager at Carborough Golf Club. Today we're going to just take you through our new bar. And I say new bar, it's about three months old and it's had about three days worth of use uh, being shut down just um, when the COVID-19 crisis hit. So I uh, thought it was an opportune time just to take you through all the improvements that we've done. Um, it's a very similar footprint to what we had, the old bar being 33 years old and uh, very little spent on it in its life. So. Uh, it was time to knock it down and start again. Um, so I thought I'd just run you through um, a few of the elements. Obviously, we've got a really nice um, wood look front there. Um, stone bench top, we've got the LED lighting underneath the bench there too, just to give it a nice little touch. Um, and they are, there's about 16 different colors we can choose to theme it for a particular day. So um, if we run through here, I'll just throw up a couple of photos of what the bar used to look like, just to give you a, a comparison. And if we come uh, basically to the front here, with the centerpiece being the, the beer font, uh, we've upgraded from six to eight beers um, with the process. So you can see a nice new font and a nice new beer display. So uh, another point to, to note is just this little set down area here that we've created um, so the staff can easily just pour the beer and push it through um, and make it a little easier for everyone. Uh, we don't have to lift it over a bench, which we had to do before. So. Um, I'll just take you around the back and you'll be able to see the bar from uh, the staff perspective and we'll just take you through a few more elements. So with our cold room here, which is where we keep a lot of our stock, you'll see um, completely new um, doors. Uh, we used to have two doors here, had quite a wide, um, wide space when we opened. We lost a lot of cold air, so that's been replaced and it's all got LED lighting. All the doors have got... Uh, sort of a, a heating element through them so you won't get any of that frosting that you'd normally get, um, the condensation that you get when you've got the mixture of cold and uh, hot air. So um, you can see um, all the racking's been replaced. We've done a fair bit of work as well as the door on the other side which used to swing out into the walkways now on a um, slide so that we won't have any dramas accidentally running into somebody. Um, so we've also got a, um, you can see up in the top there, you won't see that as a customer usually, but um, we've got our uh, digital um, thermometer there just letting us know what the what the beer is at the moment so um, so that's a, a nice little update and if we move around here um, we've got some wine racking so some that's just to hold the um, the bulk wine that we're um, where we're storing it's on display looks quite nice um, this came from Canada so it's a really nice way to display your wine you can see the chalkboard here where we've got our wine list um, open and viewable and we've got a little description about each wine where it's from and how much it is so a um, couple of popular items we've got Shiraz and Sav Blanc which are our two main most popular items so we've got two different versions of those um, and we move along into the the spirit display uh, you can see obviously we're only a small club so we don't have a massive wine list or a massive spirit offering however we've got a quite quite a nice little uh, offering now which is on display and uh, our glassware has also been improved as well. So when you're having a, a nice whiskey here, maybe a blue label, um, you can enjoy that in a nice glass. So um, one of the most popular items for our club here is our numbers board. Um, so that's something our members are, are right into um, where they play for a number um, when they're out playing golf. So you can see this has all been updated. It looks really uh, in keeping with the bar. Um, it is also the same dimensions as a nice big uh, LED screen should we wish to upgrade that at some point in the future. Behind that board we've already got um, power, data, TV, antenna already built in behind there so if we want to upgrade we're uh, future proof for that. So uh, as we come along here you can see all the stainless which will suit us. Obviously an expensive upgrade but really important for our longevity and our cleanliness. So if we're looking here, this is what the staff would see, the side of the cafe side of the bar. Um, so you can see our, uh, our Rensilio coffee machine here um, sitting here. Um, we will talk about the water in a second, but we've got a nice, um, nice new fridge as well to keep our various milks that we have for our cafe. Um, we've also got a, a jug rinser. Just allows us to uh, rinse the jug after it's been used once so we're not um, using uh, sort of cooked milk more than once so that gets nice and rinsed. You can see all the different syrups there. So we've tried to improve the cafe 
uh, area a little bit. Um, we've got a couple of different milk options now, which we didn't have previously, lactose-free and soy milk. So hopefully that suits um, a lot more of our members. So this is uh, what the customer would view from the cafe side. Um, as, you, um, as you would know, you're seeing the back of the coffee. One of the improvements here is we always had the coffee machine in the wrong place, which meant the staff had their back to the customer. Um, you can see here if the customer's ordering a coffee, um, the staff have a, a much easier way to engage with our members. Um, we've also put in a water dispenser, that's chilled water. Um, so that's a, a nice little addition with um, plenty of glassware there to for members help themselves to water. Um, and you can see our new menu here as well. So from this view here, you'll see this is what the staff are sort of looking at when they're working behind the bar. Um, most of the members probably aren't familiar with this view, but um, what we've tried to create here is two separate um, point of sale servery sections. So in a busy environment, um, we could have easily three or four staff working behind here. Um, you know, working basically from two different locations. The only time they're going to actually come into contact is to try and pour a beer. These are called speed racks, so we've got our basic spirits here. We've got an insulated ice well here as well, um, so we can keep our ice nice and, uh, and cold and uh, hopefully for a long period of time. See little bits here from the cafe. Um, we've also got a little ice machine here, which I f forgot to mention, so we've got our own little ice supply here at the bar, which is very handy for us and a lot of glasses um, just at easy access for us so the staff have got um, not very far to travel to basically be able to serve any drink. Um, so, um, so that's a bit of an insight. We've also done a few other things. What we used to have here is our beer lines that came in used to run around the side of the wall um, and really made it really difficult for us to put anything against the wall. Um, that's all now been trenched. It's actually sitting underground. Um, in a trench and has been concreted in so um, all of the beer lines, even the cold room where we keep our beers have all been upgraded. Um, so it's been a fair expense for our club but you know having not spent much for 33 years it's probably timely and hopefully you enjoy the, the feel and the look of the, the bar um, when it finally opens probably around the 10th of July at the moment. Um, for those of you who might be popping in in the meantime and enjoying table service um, we hope you enjoy the experience here at Carbrook. That's it for me this week. Cheers.